last week by New Mexico State. This will come from the right hash. Kubik will be the holder. And it's good. Receiver up there and get an extra man over versus the little flare passes down. Surprise, they're showing Hawaii so far this season on fourth down conversion attempts. Just one of seven. Across the middle, it's the first down and more. Inside the five to the pylon. Touchdown, Warriors. Touchdown. Reception Rice. Ryan Bryce Muller. It covered 28 yards. And Hawaii's in front for the first time tonight. Bob. Louisiana Tech, when you think of Bulldog football over the last 15 years, you think about terrific offensive numbers. You think about great quarterbacks like Tim Rattay. But Ryan Moats was really the guy who powered the running game for these guys the last couple of years. He went to the National Football League a year early. He's with Philadelphia. That's left a big hole in their rushing game. Certainly did, uh, and it was it was surprising. They didn't think he was going to go out, and that really hurt them because they didn't have to play for it. But this guy here is uh, Dillard. It's a race to the end zone that he will win. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Fifty-nine yards on the touchdown. Looks like just a zone play. Set again, three wide, two to the left. Kubrick looking to throw. They beat the blitz to the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown Bulldog. The catch by Eric Newman. Hawks ability it kind of explains why they decided to leave Jordan Sly back in the islands for this week's game. Sly had three big catches last week. Touchdown, Hawaii. It won't get much easier than that for the Warriors. Nate Ilawa covers the final three for the six. Third and eight. Kubik, the play action to the end zone. Touchdown, Newman, his second of the night. Take a look at some of the stats and highlights from our first 20 minutes. And we'll start with the highlights, and there are plenty of them. Bryce Mullen on the receiving end of this Colt Brennan touchdown. That was a fourth and two conversion, and it went for a score. And how about this touchdown run? Mark Dillard, 59 yards. He took it to the house. Mark's averaging 11.4 yards per carry. He's having a big night. Big play here, and maybe a big play. An extra point attempt by the Bulldogs, blocked by Hawaii. Eric Newman with the first of his two touchdown catches tonight. And right up the middle, the touchdown run by Nate Ilawa. And here's Newman again. A little pump and go, and it covered 24 yards. I think Mark Kubek, the quarterback, has done a great job adjusting to the blitz. All right, our first half stats, and you can see highlights. Tell you what, you'll see he, he absorbs a big hit right about here by the safety, and then he bounces off and comes up and makes a uh, recovers to make a, a play, but I tell you what, that's a great run by Franklin. Manners with a touchdown saving tackle, first and goal at the four. Manners was having a tough evening. He was the one who got beat on the touchdown, the last touchdown by Newman. About how physical Louisiana Tech had to be with Hawaii. He said, quote, we haven't forgotten what they did on our field a couple of years ago. We'll line up. We won't talk trash to them, but we will play physical, too. And they have been physical with the Warriors tonight. Second and six. Boy, he is elusive. Finally got rid of the football, and the flag's coming out. He was inside the tackle box. And how about that pursuit by Ruffins? 
Turnabout's fair play. They'll start this drive from the Hawaii 32. Dillard, his second touchdown run of the night. I think you'll notice here, Dave, Hawaii only had one player on that side of the line of scrimmage between the uh, offensive tackle. There was a huge hole by misalignment there. All they had to do was hit it. The quarterback did a great job of checking into that side of the run. That was another great play by Cuba. Type of ton of possession story that occurred last week for Louisiana Tech against New Mexico State, where their defense was only on the field 23 minutes. There's the flip. Pass is caught inside the 10. Still going down to the four yard line. Anthony Harrison, the backup tight end who got two touchdown passes last week, makes his first reception of the night. This is how the run sets up the pass. This is that same play they've been using with the two tight ends. The wing comes underneath. They bootleg off of that counter play, hit him out in the flat. They did the same play in the first half for a big play to James. So this is the first and goal down on the uh, four yard line. Well, I don't know what happened to Harrison that time. He caught a pass and it didn't go for a touchdown. That's what he's only caught five and three of them have been TDs. Yeah. <laughs> first and goal at the four. Franklin in at the tailback spot. on the ground here in the third quarter by Louisiana Tech. There's Franklin, and it won't get much easier than that. He goes into the end zone untouched for his second touchdown. The very happy and quite surprised when his parents showed up last week at the game in the islands for Boise State, and he's, he responded with a terrific game. 188 yards and two TDs. Could be in for a long year. So over 16,000 saw it tonight.